Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. I hope everybody's doing okay. So guys, my parcel has arrived. It arrived around 20 minutes ago. So I just want to say a massive thank you to Daniel, one of my amazing Patreons, who sold me this scorpion. But uh, like the thumbnail says, which species I actually got. So I've been keeping scorpions now for around about seven years. Uh, I got my first Deathstalker back in 2013. Um, a gentleman was emigrating to New Zealand, so he wanted to sell his collection for really, really cheap. So I got the Deathstalker for £10, and I've still actually got her. So luckily for me, it turned out female. But I don't really mind if it's a male or female in Scorpions. I don't really bother me. But um, yeah, let's open the uh, box and uh, let's take a look. So guys, with the box opened and some of the packaging removed, I can see the actual tub where the scorpion is. And the packing's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, the scorpion is just in there. You can just see by the lid there. So we'll open the uh, lid in a moment. So I'm just going to uh, sort out its enclosure first. And uh, let's sort that out now. So guys, this is my cabinet where I keep all my accessories. So we need a water dish and I have all different uh, colours and sizes in there. We need one of them. We need some bird sand. This is the kind of substrate I use for my scorpions and desert species. And we need an enclosure and a hide. So guys, this is the enclosure I'll be using today. This is a three litre brass plast tub, fantastic little enclosures and you can see that the ventilation holes are all on top of the lid which are already drilled for you, you don't have to do that yourself but I've put a couple of extra ventilation holes on the side of the enclosure plus with this enclosure as well you can open part of the lid which is uh, very ideal so you always put the water dish on this side and if you want to fill up the water dish or put some food in then you don't have to keep taking the whole of the lid off you can just open this part here so very very useful fantastic little enclosures and this is the actual hide i'll be using it's a small ceramic hide this scorpion's not huge it's only around about uh, two and a half three inches so yeah we have the enclosure we have the hide the water dish and the sand so let's get started so guys, let's just put the sand in. Well, like I said, this is just bird sand that I get from my local pet shop. Let's just spread that around with my, with my spoon. You want it fairly deep so they can dig down a little bit. Uh, we'll put the, the water dish in next. which is one of them Exoterra water dishes that I got that giant parcel a few months ago now. And we'll put the hide in. And that's all you need really guys. It's very, very plain and simple. Nothing special to it. Some just over like that, make it a little bit more natural for the scorpion. And there we go, guys. So let's just quickly fill up that water dish and let's put the scorpion in its new home. So, guys, let's just undo the lid and then after that, I'm going to be getting my hand out of the way. You don't really want to get stung by this scorpion. So a little bit of a clue guys, it's a Venom level five, which is the highest you can actually get. And there it is. It does look a male, because Daniel sent me a picture um, last night. And you can tell it's a male because the claws look very, very short and fat. So let's just give the scorpion a little touch. You don't want to upset it too much try and be as careful as you can oh my look at that guys look at the size of that tail oh my god so this is 
I Androdoctinus Australasia Gordoni. Um, I have a Hector, which this one is, yeah, is slightly different to be honest. So I'm going to get my other set of tongs. And like I said, it's not a scorpion you want to get stung by. It'll definitely put you in hospital for a few days. So this is why I'm using my tongs. Is it going to come off and be good? I don't think it's going to be. And that's the reason why I keep my hands out the way. And just use my tongs. So yeah, like I said, I've been keeping scorpions now for seven years and never been stung because I don't put my hands in the way. I always use my tongs. Always use two set of tongs. These are 12 inches in length. And uh, yeah, just basic common sense really guys. Just keep your hands out the way. And uh, yeah, you won't get stung. So it sh should be okay in this enclosure. Oh my, look at the tail on that. Oh my God. But yeah, like I said, the claws are fairly now looking at it now in the flesh that does look a female to be honest them claws are very very thin and uh, fairly long so yeah possibly it could be uh, a female i hope so daniel said it was a female and i was a bit um 50 50 on that when he showed me the picture it did look a male so yeah beautiful scorpion so i'll leave it for a couple of days let it settle down and then I'll offer it some food. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And uh, while we're here, let's just put that lid on because I don't really want the scorpion to get out. So it's got plenty of room to walk around, which is what you need. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. And thanks for watching, everyone.